T-Mobile is on the spot in Wall, New Jersey for the first Formula Drift event of the season. But before we get back into the tandem showdown, Emeka's checking out the JDM bling over at the car show. Hey, Rossi, even though Formula D is all about go, we can't forget the show. Like some of our drivers, man, these cars are out of control. Cheer, 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 cheer. Hey, what's happening? This is a Mecca standing right beside a beautiful G35. Y'all know that Calvin won drifts in a G35 from Falcon. And Michael, right here, this is his car. Michael, can you tell us what you've done to take this to the VIP level? Sure, basically, we just converted a regular stock G35 into more of a VIP sports luxury look. Tell us about the cosmetics you've done to this car. Uh, we put a set of Junction Produce 19-inch wheels, Scara, uh, in black to kind of give contracts to the vehicle. Front bumper replacement, the eyelids. Why did you choose to go with the G35? Well, basically, I want a luxury car, but yeah, I want a little sports to it. So I think this is the perfect choice. Well, definitely is a gem, man. It's a gorgeous car. Thank you. Yeah. The sun's gone down and the best drivers of the day are rising to the top. Here's a look at the guys who made it to the round of eight. Casper Canoel's crew strapping up the Nitto tires. Chris Kokorian in the Falcon Tires S13 running the JDM RB25 turbo motor in there. Coming into the bank, Chris Kokorian, the crazy Armenian. Good angle, got the strobe lights going on. Whoa, spinning out! Automatic advantage goes to Casper. That menacing looking monster fabrication S14. One of the best looking cars out there, maintained by Meguiar's. Let's check him out coming into the bank. What is that? Chris Kokoyan going to the flat bottom. Hey, you gotta pass some drift. What's the deal? You're not supposed to beeline towards the front. Chris Kokoyan, like I said, he's crazy. He'll do anything to win. Here we go, Casper Canoel following Chris. Look at those HIDs glow in the Nitto Tire S14. Casper Canoel from Southern California. He moves on, he wins. How's it going? You did great out there. I don't know. So emotional. What, what, tell me what happened. What happened so fast? I mean, it was just great. I mean, it was a dog fight. It was, it was a battle in there. I felt like we were going to touch or crash, and it was just wild, and I was trying to drive my line. You know, you did a great job. You totally deserve it. Good luck with the rest of the competition. Next battle, Robbie Nishida, all the way from Japan, against Andy Yen, the Laundromat King, and the JIC Magic S15. Send it! Robbie Nishida in the overboost, Sil Camino, pulling away from Andy. Robbie Nishida hit they got hydraulics on it, coming off the transition, no problem. Andy Yen sending the thing in the spin cycle, lose control, luckily didn't hit the wall. Advantage automatically to Robbie Nishida. Here we go, Andy Yen leading the JRC Magic S15. Robbie Nishida on the flat bottom, treating it like a drag race. Andy Yen getting a little out of line in the middle of the bank. Robbie on his game, no problem with the transition. Andy flicks it back, moves control. Robbie Nishida moves on and wins. We're here with Robbie Nishida. Some of the drivers were complaining about the track, how it was a little bit slick and they were having problems with that. Did you feel like you were yeah, having problems I, with When I first went out there, it was pretty slick, but hey, you know, it's life. It's cold. Of course, it's going to be slick. Um, man, I'm talking like I know something. I don't know anything. I'm just going out there and doing this. We're only halfway through the round of eight, and so far, we've seen two underdogs come out on top with Casper Canool getting past Chris Krikorian and Robbie Nishida ending up in front of Andy Yen. Here in Jersey, the drifting is sick. Stick around when we come back. We're gonna find out who survives to make it to the round of four. here in New Jersey, and we've still got a lot more talent left on the roster. But before we check out the drifting, let's catch up with Emeka, who's lining up some connections for the after party with some of the most popular guys in Formula D, Drift Alliance. 
These guys are so rock and roll, they bring their own entourage. I mean, you guys even know about Drift Watch, you know, you know how we get down. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we we're, we're gonna be this. I don't know. This is a rock and roll attitude. Yeah. They don't want cars on shirts. They don't want anything never, like that. You'll never see a car on a shirt no ever. Rock and roll they keep it rock and roll. Like Dedicated to all things metal. Heavy metal. So Richard, man, you guys are having a party out here. Tell me about what you're involved in, Drift Alliance. Uh, basically, Drift Alliance is four members. Tony Angelo, Falcon Tire, Chris Forsberg, Ryan Hampton, J.R. Von Gittin. You know, these guys are nuts, man. The rock and roll lifestyle of drifting, for sure. Exactly, you finally get it. They all get it now. It's the East Coast, man, this is what we do. Nice. Definitely, bro, nice. definitely, bro. East Coast represent. <laughs> Back to the action, second half of the great eight. We got Reese Mill and the Kiwi in the Pontiac GTO, and that's the Nimble Corolla owned by Taka Eanu. That Pontiac GTO's got 500 plus horsepower, all motor. Then we got the 180 horsepower Corolla Taka Eanu. Reese Mill and lighting up his rims, that's not fire. Look at the little LED lights, who says that's Ricer style? Coming in a horseshoe number one, Taka Eanu playing catch up here. This is David versus Goliath here. We got the high horsepower Pontiac GTO, but the nimble little Corolla hanging tough. Taka following Reese. Looks like Reese has got the advantage. Here goes the under horsepower Corolla being followed by Reese Millen. Takayano, a chiropractor of all things, was keeping it straight there, being followed by Reese Millen. Here we go, coming to the transition, no problem for either one. So here we go, horseshoe number one, Takayano, the paint shining in the lights. House of Court paint maintained by McGuire's. Coming to horseshoe number, oh, loses it. Whoa, Reese coming close. Dodges him as he goes around Taka. And that means Reese Millen wins. All right, we're here with Reese Millen, who's moving on to the next round. Congratulations. What happened out there? Uh, you know, that was the first time that I've run against such a, I guess, a different dynamic car, a slower car. So very challenging. Tucker put on a great display. Unfortunately, I think his car broke, but the Pontiac GTO Yokohama tires car is moving on. Last battle of the great eight. That's Alex Pfeiffer, the slide in Hawaiian, and the car they say couldn't drift. Send it! Followed by Hubert Young and the Falcon Tires, discount tire S13. Alex Pfeiffer doing what he does best all day, coming in low, going out high, coming in transition. Man, like I said, they say this car couldn't drift. He's making those Yokohama tires beg for mercy. Hubert Young with star the any angle, coming out of horseshoe number one. Alex throwing up the smoke. Alex is impressing everybody. That RSR Honda S2000 is looking too good. Advantage goes to Alex Pfeiffer with Hubert Young leading. It's a race to the bank. Coming into bank number one, Hubert with no angle. Alex Pfeiffer, life as usual. Hubert Young getting out of line. Cone killer here. What's the deal? Getting out of line. He's totally thrown off. He better send his back packing. Alex Pfeiffer throwing up the smoke. Hubert Young swinging wide. Alex Pfeiffer got a blowtorch back there and he wins. Alex Pfeiffer, that was a really exciting battle. That was insane. And you're moving on to the next round. What happened out there? I think he just came off the bank too early and messed up his line a little bit. It happened. So what were you thinking when you were out there? I was just trying not to let him get on the inside of me because he has so much grip on the bottom. He's like really fast on the bottom section of the track. Around the oval, he's always kind of high. Well, you prevailed. You're moving on to the next round. Congratulations. Thank you. After a killer round of eight, we're going to the battle of the top four, where we'll see Reese Millen versus Rodney Nishida and Alex Fiver versus Casper Canul facing off in the semifinals.
All right, we've come down to the semifinals, the round of four. We've got Reese Millen versus Ryan Ishida and Casper Canole versus Alex Pfeiffer. Let's go to the action and see who's going to come out on top. This is it, top four, Reese Millen, the Kiwi, driving them cars against Robbie Nishida from Japan in the overboost, Sil Camino. That's a factory back Pontiac GTO, AKA the GOAT. Robbie Nishida coming all the way from Japan. If he's jet lagged, it doesn't show. He went from unseated all the way to the semifinals. Big round of applause for Robbie. Here we go, Reese Millen, Robbie Nishida coming off the transition, no problem. Robbie Nishida pushing too hard, loses control. Advantage goes to Reese. Robbie Nishida leading as Reese Millen follows. Robbie Nishida coming from left field, from unranked all the way to the semifinals. Robbie able to push hard and keep his distance from Reese. Coming off the transition, no problem. Horseshoe number one, Reese all over him. Put the most menacing headlights you'll ever see. Robbie Nishida coming to horseshoe number two. I think we have a clear cut winner here though. Judges award Reese Millen the winner. Robbie has one more run for third or fourth place. There he is, number one, Reese Millen. He's running around the car. You gotta uh, fix your hair. Uh, you're still in, you're still in, still number one. I know we're into the finals, but I've lost third gear. I've got no third gear. So I gotta get my guys to look at the car. That's the slide in Hawaiian entering the track in the Honda RSR S2000. And he's being followed by Casper Canul, Viva La Raza from Southern California, and the Nitto Tires Monster Fabrication S14. Here we go, Alex Pfeiffer, good angle and low on the bank, coming back high, entering the transition, no problem. Casper doing the same, no angle whatsoever from Casper. Alex can't be bothered, CBB, what's the deal? Here we go, Alex Pfeiffer entering horseshoe number two, as if Casper's not even there. Smoke coming out of those young avatar rubber. Advantage goes to Alex. Casper's got to make it look good. Here we go. Casper Canula entering the bank. Going to the middle of the bank. Transition, no problem. Horseshoe number one. Alex all over him. Nitto tire S14 looking menacing as ever. Lighting up the Nittos. Here we go, horseshoe number two, Alex all over him. Shooting flames! This competition's on fire! Alex wins! Here we are with Alex Pfeiffer. Oh. Alex, you know, the judges says this was the closest run yeah, they've seen that all day. Really close. That was really close, I'm amazed. We stayed together the whole time, so it was really hard to judge, you know, like who did better than the other car, because we both had really good line speed and angle, so it was, it was really weird. It was really exciting, so good luck in the next round. Thank you. After the semis, it's going to be a battle for first, second, and third. Alex Pfeiffer will take on Reese Millen for the top spot, while Nishida and Kanul battle it out for third. Stick around, we've got the finals up next. The two drivers that lost in the round of four are now going to battle it out for third place. Casper Canul, Robin Nishida, let's go to the track. This is it. Somebody's getting a trophy here. Somebody's standing on the podium. It's either going to be Robin Nishida in the overboost Sil Camino or Casper Canul. Send it! That's the bright orange Sil Camino of JDM Import, Robin Nishida. Being followed by Casper Canul in the Monster Fabrication Nitto Tires S14. No problem with the transition. Casper lighting up with his HIDs. Robbie Nishida pulling a little bit away. But Casper right behind him. This is a fierce battle. Going to horseshoe number two, Robbie Nishida, decent angle. Casper doing the same. Judges are tossed up. Here we go, Casper in the noodle tire, S14 is going to lead. That's Robin Ishida playing catch up. Look at the bag, Casper Canoe on his game. Woo, coming close to the wall, no problem with the transition. 
Edwin Hurst, another one. Casper swinging wide, but Rob, oh, Robbie getting off wide. Casper Canoe coming across the horseshoe. Look at that. Give it up for Casper as he exits horseshoe number two in the middle tire S14. Robbie Nishida goes up in smoke. Nice job, Casper. You came up third in today's competition. You did a great job. You know, it was so close in the first round. In the second round, you just took it away. What happened out there? Um, I just tried to drive as fast as I could and try to keep a real tight line. You should be so proud of yourself. How does it feel right now to be third? In incredible. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so blessed. So far, we've seen Alex Pfeiffer take out Vaughn Gittin Jr. in the 16, battle to the win with veteran Hubert Young in the 8, and then run a tight drift with Casper Canul in the semis. He's going to take on Reese Miller, who has already gotten past Conrad Grunewald, Taka Ono, and finally Robbie Nishida. Unfortunately for Reese, he lost third gear in the last round and didn't have time to fix it before the finals. This is it, the moment you've been waiting for, Jersey. Send it! That's Reese Millen of the Pontiac GTO being followed by Alex Pfeiffer, the sliding Hawaiian. You've been seeing these guys go out all day, super consistent. Whoa, Alex dipping low. Reese on his game. Alex totally losing it. Advantage automatically goes to Reese Millen. I think some technical difficulties are coming into play here. Reese looked like he put on the brakes, but I think that's his tranny issues. Now we got Alex leading with Reese following. Let's see how they fare. Here we go into the bank. Decent angle from Alex, staying low. Reese doing the same. No problem with the tranny, no angle. Alex shooting flames. Good bank crossover coming to horseshoe number one. Alex Pfeiffer exiting horseshoe number one. Reese all over his back bumper. His lights light up the Seaworth body kit. I don't know, this one's too close to judge. Alex straight now, that's the end of the judge run. Judges are racking their brains. What do you guys think? All right, here we go. And in first place, the fierce battle, Alex Biden, my man, Reese Miller, my man. And the winner is Reese Miller, one on one. He's the Street Fighter Jet Championship. Second place, Alex Biden. Give up for Alex Biden for Reese Miller. And John Pugano, third place. Here we are with number one and number two. Oh. How do you guys feel right now? Oh, disappointed. Why? Why? What happened? Oh, the technical problems in his car turned into technical problems for my car. <laughs> so what exactly happened with your car? You thought you lost a gear. In the end, what happened? Yeah, there's something inside the transmission. Uh, you know, these cars get a lot of abuse out here, and I just could not get third gear in the semifinals and the finals. I tried it one more time. I wasn't anything that I was trying to block Alex with a maneuver or anything. It short shifted. I went to fourth and drove the corner in fourth. Unfortunately, I checked him up. He had evidently hurt his car. Then we rematched. I thought he was playing with me, trying to get me to spin. So it was very exciting. I was like, go, no go, go. <laughs> so great battle, and you know, that's what it's about. And I can't say enough to uh, Pontiac, a great little GTO that we're running out here, Yokohama tires. Brilliant handling throwing those tires and, and what a difference a year makes. You know, last year we didn't qualify. This year we qualified number one and came away with a win. I'm very happy. Nice job. Thank you. What an amazing day of drifting. I mean, the competitions were unbelievable. A lot of close races, wrecks, spin outs. I can't believe it. And Reese Millen takes the championship for the first event right here in Wall, New Jersey. I'm telling you, it's been a great show. The fans were really, really into it. Drifting, it's blowing up on the East Coast. Gotta love it. I agree, and all of the drivers really impressed me. I mean, especially on such a challenging track. I can't wait to the next event. Can you guys? I can't wait, and I know you guys can't wait. So for Maylene Ramey and Emeka Nadi, I'm Rossi Morielli. We'll see you next time.